guys as you can see by the title i'm back with another pregnancy update so today is saturday december 9th and i am currently 32 weeks so i'm gonna cover my 30 week my 31st and things that are gonna be happening this week while i'm 32 weeks so when i turned 30 weeks between 30 and 31 weeks my symptoms were the same which was of course the extra weight gain of course i'm going to be constantly gaining weight probably about almost about a pound a week something like that and i've been i'm trying to say what have i been doing of course eating more my eating has increased i get real hungry real fast i'm in my third trimester so stuff like that is likely to happen so i'm gonna go to my app the bump the app i told y'all like that's what it looks like And let's see, let's look at week 30. Okay, week 30, the baby is as big as a zucchini. It says baby skin is getting smooth, but baby's brain is getting wrinklier to make way for the first essential brain tissue. Baby's now strong enough to grasp a finger. At 30 weeks, your belly, your belly's doing more than just making it tough to find a comfortable sleeping position. That's another thing. I cannot, well, I sleep good, but I turn a lot. So comfortably, sometimes my hips and stuff like that be hurting. My back be hurting. That's another symptom, 30 and 31 weeks. It says you can get heartburn around this time, swelling, general discomfort, shortness of breath, trouble sleeping, weird, vivid dreams. And that's because of hormones. The only things that I've had is probably discomfort and maybe a little bit of swelling. I haven't swelled this much, well, as much as I did with my daughter. But this time, it's, I swell, but not a lot. So that was week 30. So on week 31, it says baby is as big as asparagus. Now, I don't know what type, <laughs> why they decide to use these vegetables because uh asparagus that's not big but i guess because they got a bundle of asparagus so that's what they mean like a whole thing of asparagus so it's saying the baby is about 16.1 inches and 3.31 pounds us uh, as baby's going through major brain and nerve development yeah well, i noticed when you get like in your third trimester basically everything is developed but the lungs the brain and the nervous system and fat is the main four things that you know is constantly developing while you're pregnant um well, symptoms that i could possibly have would be shortness of breath dry brittle nails braxton hicks contractions leaky boobs frequent urination back aches and difficulty sleeping so yeah like i was saying week 30 and 31 is almost the same i haven't had no leaky boobs the only thing i've had is the Braxton Hicks, the back aches, and frequent urination. I pee like every 20 minutes in white. But overall, I've been feeling, my pregnancy's been going pretty good. I have no complaints. I don't have preeclampsia this time. Don't have gestational diabetes. But I can still talk about it if y'all want me to do like a separate video on it. Uh, I could talk about my experience. I had it last time. So I know a little bit about it. Um, I also found this new app. It's called Pregnancy. And I don't know. I kind of like this one a little bit better than the bump. So I'm going to use this one to talk about my 32 week update. Which is what I currently am now. And this one, it gives you the weeks, the trimester, the days left. It shows you the length, the weight, which is just like the other app they show you that this one shows you which um how many months you are so according to this chart um of course in my third trimester i'm 32 weeks and i'm eight months i'm considered eight months it says hey you are 32 weeks pregnant your uterus is now grown to the size of a pineapple shortness of breath of course talking about shortness of breath it says i will gain about a pound a week which is what i was just saying the third trimester is mainly where you pick up most of the way that it's towards the end because the baby is getting all its fat and all that extra stuff is going on. 
the Braxton Hicks contractions. Mine don't really hurt too much. They just feel like my stomach is real tight. But I had that with my daughter, so I already know what that feel like. Shortness of breath. I don't know if I have that. Mm, I don't think so. And then it's talking about uh, every day it gives you like an article on things you would need. So for this week's article, it talks about breast care, wearing maternity bras, the benefits of maternity bras, um, how to be professionally fitted and um nursing bras and different styles to choose from and then they give you a link to where you can buy a maternity bra on amazon so yeah i like this app too and then the, it does the baby development it says the five senses are at work and then it talks about the baby brain works double time uh the nerve cells or neurons are also produced by the second as we speak your baby is now amazingly good at processing information what does this mean exactly even while still in your womb your baby's five senses are now hard at work oh that's cool the ears are fully developed it says try to avoid loud music or sounds it will help your baby to keep calm the baby can sample everything you eat, so anything spicy, sweet, or salty may leave traces in the amniotic fluids, fluid, so your baby can enjoy whatever you're having. So that's cool. Everything I eat goes into the amniotic fluid, so they can taste a little bit of what you eat. So it says, on to the fetal position. Now at, it says, now at 32 weeks, you might already have been told Baby should be ripe enough to engage in the fetal position, which is um, head. They're saying head down. They have a picture of it, of the baby head down. If by this week your baby still hasn't rotated head first, don't worry. Some babies like to take their time. Breech deliveries are not very common, and when they are, or do be detected, your midwife or doctor will be able to provide you with other birth options. So, uh, two doctors visited ago. Um, my midwife was telling me they were showing me a cesarean video and they was just saying you know if your baby still breach we can do an ultrasound just to make sure and then we can talk about you know a date in your c-section so one thing about that is my um, birth option plans is of course to have a natural birth as i did a vaginal let me say that vaginal a vaginal birth like I did with my daughter I had a vaginal birth and my experience was pretty good like I didn't have no tears I had a great great doctor a great delivery doctor she was so nice and I guess from uh, keeping me from tearing she put what is that it's some type of oil I think it starts with a P I can't remember what it's called but she rubbed that on me you know so I won't rip and it, the baby head would just you know slide through I was induced, of course, because, I, you know, as I said before, I had preeclampsia and gestational diabetes. So I was induced with her and they, uh, I was in labor for 12 hours. They induced me, ate that morning. I had to stay overnight. They stuck this little thing. It was like a little white little, it's kind of, it was small, like a little cardboard. That's what it felt like, a cardboard. To soften my cervix that night when I got to the hospital. Then the next morning I ate breakfast and they started the process of induction which was at eight o'clock and i ended up having her later on that night at eight i think it was 8 18 or 8 16 p.m it was something like that that night so i was in labor for about 12 hours as far as the epidural they've been asking me do you want the epidural do you? <laughs> and i don't know like i had it last time but i went all the way up to i was eight centimeters which so everybody's like you could have went without it but the pain was so intense like i only went to eight because i had to the doctor was taking so long to get to my room i just the last hour or two i had to deal with the pain so when i did get my epidural i was eight centimeters and so you know i had time to rest i went to sleep i was knocked like that stuff drugged me up i was knocked and um I kept feeling pressure I was while I was asleep, but I didn't budge. And so eventually, because, you know, the nurses come in every couple of minutes or, you know, whenever to come check. And she was like, 
I can see the baby's head. Why didn't you tell me you felt? I was like, oh, I was so drugged up and tired. I was like, oh, yeah, I did feel pressure. She's like, where's the dad? Where's the dad? He was outside with his brother. So I was like, oh, my God, if you don't hurry up and get his butt back into this room before I had this baby, I know something. I was so pissed. Like, I was like, I know he did not leave me in this room, even though I was asleep. I don't care. You Next time, don't do that. I, t I got, got on him so much about that. But anyways, that's what happened. And my push time was about 10 minutes. I did pretty good for the first because they usually say the first time it takes about an hour. But I pushed for about 10 minutes and I was, I was good. She came out. I didn't have no rips. I had to get no stitches, no nothing. I was perfectly fine. I was walking afterwards. Even though I, I think I can't remember if it, if it was my left or my right leg. But as the epidural wears off one leg it had worn off of but the other leg was still numb and i was still trying to hop my way around and walk <laughs> so i would say i did pretty good and i exercised with her that i walked during the third trimester it's very important to keep active because that will help so much with your labor and delivery i'm telling you even if you just walk 10 minutes a day it's really best to work, um, walk 30 minutes, but even if you walk just 10 minutes a day, I'm telling you, it will help you a lot. It will help the baby turn so it won't be breached. It will help with your cervix dilating. Exercise helps with a lot. So exercise, 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 or just walk, 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 walk as much as you can in your third trimester. I'm telling you, it will help you so much. So um, I think I about covered everything. I haven't really been craving like this pregnancy I really haven't really had any too many cravings just chocolate still and that's really about it I don't really be like oh I want this I gotta have it it's just certain things when I see it and I want it I feel like I have to have it but not no specific cravings that made me like oh I want this every day none of that so yeah probably the next time I do my pregnancy update it will either be packing my hospital bag or my baby shower haul. Because I plan on packing my hospital bag after my baby shower. Um, after I have my baby shower, I'll have everything I need. Clothes, shoes, uh, receiving blankets, outfits, you know, all the, all the good stuff. So I'll do a what's in my hospital bag video and a baby shower haul. So those are the two next videos that you guys should be looking forward to. And my 37 pregnancy week update because 37 weeks i will be full term so that's another video those are three videos i'm not sure which order it'll come in but just know like those are the next three to be on the lookout for and okay now it's time to show my belly hey what my belly looking like still big It is so pointy, like I don't know why my stomach is shaped like that, but it is. Now my mom said it looked like my stomach dropped, but I really, I can't tell. It looks the same to me. So, oh, my Lenny and Negra look like it got darker. Okay. so yeah as far as uh stretch marks i'm not really sure if i've developed any new ones besides the ones i've had with my daughter i can't really tell uh if i have any fresh ones or not but Either way, it doesn't matter. I had I got them with my daughter, so I might as well just get used to them. If I keep getting more or if they stay the same, it's all good. As long as I lose all the fat afterwards, you know, I'm good. So, like this video. If you guys want to see my exercise routine, I will do that as well. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Make sure you leave a comment down below what you want to see from me next, from my pregnancy updates. 
or if there's any other topics you want me to talk about breastfeeding preeclampsia gestational i will talk about anything you guys want me to talk about so just comment down below what you want to hear from me and i will see you guys on the next update bye